That's me. So let's get started. I first saw the light of day in St Mary's Hospital for Women and Children in Manchester. Now that begs a question. My mother was never admitted to the local maternity hospital. She was sent 15 miles to Bury General and shortly after moved on to St Mary's in Manchester. I suspect my mother had some problems having me. Then it was back to 14 Meadows Avenue Bake-Up, in the middle of the Pennines, on the edge of Lancashire. Little tourist house surrounded by fields, with Burnley Road and the River Irwell a hundred yards away. My parents are obviously very proud. And that's where I spent the first four years of my life. I have lots of good memories and the neighbours were lovely. I fell out of the bedroom window one day and bounced. No lasting injuries. Shortly after I came home, there was another arrival. The Northern Transmitter had opened in October so we could see the BBC TV for the first time. The following year, of course, was the coronation. I don't remember the occasion, but I remember the reaction of my parents, relatives, and neighbours that came to watch. It's as if children's TV had been invented for me. Andy Pandy, Andy Pandy previewed in 1950, Bill and Ben in 52, and The Wooden Tops in 55. Meanwhile, the Cold War was hotting up. Russia detonated its first hydrogen bomb. For the first time, cigarettes were reported to cause lung cancer. A paper on the DNA structure was published, and Edmund Hillary and Tenzing became the first to reach the summit of Mount Everest. That's the first part of my life and times. Now, I'm off to Rottenstall.